It's the last day the government has set for doctors to return to their patients so that the walkouts can end without holding them legally responsible. And the health ministry is also planning a meeting with doctors today in a bid to find a breakthrough. Our Shin Sebyeok starts us off. Thursday marks the return to work deadline set by the government for doctors protesting the planned medical school quota increase. The government has called on doctors to resume work by February 29th, stating that those who comply will not face any legal penalties. And a final step that would allow the government to file a criminal complaint over the collective action. Health Ministry officials visited the homes of trainee doctors in person on Wednesday to deliver return to work orders. Previously, these orders had been issued through mail or text messages. Those who do not return to work by today will face suspension of their medical licenses or additional legal action. South Korea's medical law stipulates that doctors and other medical personnel who fail to respond to return to work orders can face up to three years in prison. The health ministry plans to begin telling the number of trainee doctors who do not return to work next Monday, the first working day after the Thursday deadline with Friday a national holiday in South Korea. The ministry is then expected to file a complaint with the police, officially initiating legal procedures. The police are expected to issue arrest warrants for those who fail to respond to a summons without reasonable cause. Amid rising tensions between doctors and the government, some residents are now making moves to return to their posts. At Konguk University Hospital in Seoul, 12 out of approximately 200 trainee doctors returned as of February 26. At Cheonnam National University Hospital, 7 out of around 120 residents who were ordered to resume work returned to their post last week. And Chusan University Hospital has seen 7 out of 113 residents come back. Meanwhile, the health ministry has scheduled a discussion at 4 p.m. on Thursday in Seoul. The second vice minister of health and welfare, Pang min Su, has reached out to the resigning resident doctors, inviting them for a dialogue. Despite multiple public invitations, Park has yet to secure successful dialogue. He has clarified that the meeting is open not just to the representatives from the Korean Intern and Resident Association, but also to any resident doctor eager to join the conversation. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.